garden friends welcome to another episode of aj's green thumb it is already past sunset so it's roughly i don't know what is it 5 5 15 5 20 maybe anyhow i'm finally getting around to further dividing these iris so that i can package them for shipment um honestly i've never shipped live plants before so I've got some Ziploc bags. Don't be mad at me guys, but I've got some doggy bags as well. I'm gonna first put the cutting in a doggy bag, seal this so that it stays moist and then put it inside the Ziploc bag and then package that inside of a small box. Okay, so bear with me here. Hopefully it makes it to you alive. That's all I got to say. Uh, okay. All right, these roots, I don't want them to dry out too much more. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and split this into I think what I'll do is I'll put a rubber band or something like this or tie it right here so that the crown can still breathe. Okay, something like that. I'll button that up just like this. Here's another one. So I'm making sure that I'm selecting clumps that have not necessarily eyes. I don't know if you guys can see this. Okay, but new growth, all right? That's very important to select chunks that have new growth. That's self-explanatory. See that new growth right there? See all of this new growth right here? All right guys, so that's that in a nutshell. I mean, I'm just packaging these divisions up, preparing them to be mailed. I'll ship them out tomorrow. Let me show you guys before it gets too dark. All right, so um, I had five different types of hard neck. Right here, I had uh, Georgian Crystal. Over here, I had the Matechi. Right here, I had the Chestnut Red. Over here is the Romanian Red. And over here is the German Extra Hardy. So... You can tell I did these in the dark last night. I just didn't have enough light to uh, successfully record it. So that's one task that's checked off the list. Garlic has been planted. I do want to plant some um, Nantes carrots. I have a seed tape that uh, once I clear out either side of this U-shaped bed, 
I'll just go ahead and put some compost down and um, get those planted. All right, so before I sign off, I wanna show you guys some awesome fall color. This right here is a Nellie Stevens Holly. And it's got some beautiful berries. So the tree with the berries is the female. Okay, and it is gorgeous, gorgeous. These started off a very pale orange color, late summer, and then they changed over to that deep, deep orange red. Here's a peony. This one is the Sarah Bernhardt, beautiful fall color. This right here is Lady Limelight. Beautiful golden fall color. Look at these leaves up close. And the spent flower heads, beautiful. This one right here, you guys, this right here is a wow. This right here is truly a wow. Look at this. I mean, this thing is a blazing blazing the color scheme on it i mean it's it graduates from golds deep golds and yellows to blushed pink tinged with red the stems are red truly a beautiful tree and i can't wait till it fully matures in this space Hopefully I'll still have Lady Limelight and when that matures, they can really complement one another. One last thing I wanna show you guys are these hydrangeas and the colors on them. Now it is kind of dark. Perhaps I should do this when we have a little more light. But those are all the ruby slippers. You can see the color contrast, the deep burgundy hues juxtaposed against those uh, autumn ferns. Look at this. This right here is an oak leaf hydrangea. I believe it's an Alice. And although it is getting dark, you can still see the gorgeous hues of these burgundy leaves. goes to flower heads. Even the hostas are in on the show. Underneath these hostas, you have lamium with its variegated leaves. Nice contrast to the golden leaves of these hostas.